The outpouring of support for the Flick family has really been tremendous. And today, in the snow and cold, people stood along the procession route after the funeral, including our Dylan Thomas. Dylan. Kathy, I've been out here for a couple hours now, joined by some of those who say this is an absolute must do to stand and pay respects to those who have given their life in exchange for what they do as a career. Behind me, the processional continues on. It's been going for more than half an hour now, and car after car continues to go with their lights on, some even running their sirens and paying respect to Deputy Flick. Today, I was there at the funeral as the family arrived, and you could tell that this was a definitely somber moment one they were willing to go out and share with the community at the same time. While they were inside in the funeral, many people lined up outside in the snow. It's 16 degrees out here in Colorado Springs, and people were lined up for hours waiting for their opportunity to say goodbye to Detective Flick, a man who many of them had never even met, yet they still felt the calling to come outside and pay their respects. Some tell me it's the least they could do for somebody who literally gave his life to protect the community. Back out here live in Colorado Springs, as you can see right behind me, the processional continues to go on. Fire trucks, police officers, ambulance continue to file one by one as they head from Colorado Springs out towards Falcon. Coming up tonight at 10, you'll hear from some of those who decided to brave the weather, the 16 degrees cold weather outside right now as the snow continues to fall so they could say their final, final farewell to the detective that gave all. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first.